Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I am back with another tutorial, and this one is really awesome. I'm so excited to show you guys, so let's just get right on into it. Um, I'm going to show you guys first, then I'm going to go on to the tutorial, so be sure to stick around. So you'll see that we just have like this little pit here, and it looks solid right there, but if we just hop right on through, oh, okay. Whoa, it's totally why I am moving my mouse around. And I can't tell where I am. I can't tell if I'm looking up, down. I'm walking around now and you can't even tell. It, this is just an insane inf effect. Uh, there is one way that you can just kind of get out. Uh, or at least know where you... Oh, okay. Apparently I was looking more up than I thought it was. Uh, you can just throw some items around. That, which can really, really help out. Uh, but an awesome thing to do with this is if you just grab one door look at how weird this looks it's just a door floating in midair and you don't know where you are except for that door like to see like the view it's so so weird but it's really really cool um one other thing is if we just head right over here you can do this sort of thing too if we just head in this direction i believe yeah, you'll see that we hit this little wall thing right here, and you see that's still white when we go through. But you can make a nice little water elevator if you do not want the door effect, and you just want the whoever fell in here to be completely lost. Anyway, um, here it is, and let's go right into the tutorial. So let's first get started off by literally just going far, far away. I suggest doing this in a desert of some sort. Uh, because this is going to be difficult, like really seriously dis difficult. Um, and just going to take something very white and it's going to take a lot of it. Like a lot of it. So what you want to do is you want to stop. You want to take out a map. And you want to just make sure you have all of it. Just like that. And then you want to start filling in this whole map with just something white. I'm going with white concrete for this time and make sure it's completely flat and this is going to take a lot and a lot of resources. But I do believe in you guys and I think that you guys can do it. So you just have to continue doing this for a very long time but it's well worth it I believe because the finished product is just absolutely amazing. It's insane. So yeah, I'm going to be out here doing this for a while. I might try to find out the coordinates and just, um, whoops, and just use commands like blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back when I have it all set. So now you should have something that kind of looks like this. Now this is the part when you guys start to hate me. Um, to get all of this from corner to corner of the map, you can see the map right here. Yeah, it costs um, right around 16,512 blocks. That's 258 stacks of blocks. And that's 7.1 invent, uh, inventory blocks of 64. So you need 7 whole inventories of just 64 of that one block so yeah it's a lot um i mean like i wouldn't probably make this on a survival world but i mean it's still really really cool so if you guys are up for the challenge then please go for it but now we need to get off of this map so i'm just going to go to uh, dp tnt in to zero 100 and 0. That will take me right back t into the air, but exactly at center of the world. And this was a little thing of mine. <clears throat> so, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create the room now that we have everything. This also takes a lot of maps, and this takes a lot of item frames. And that reminds me, you're going to need like a ton of these maps. So I should have probably warned you guys to go make maps um, when we're back at that spot. I have no idea where it is now because I teleported. Yeah, but you're going to need a lot. So I'm just going to go like that and these all should have it. Yes, they do. So what you want to do is you want to build this um, 
room out of sea lanterns or glowstone and you can make it as big as you want and then I'm going to show you guys a few tricks so you want to make this I'm going to make this big because I'm in serve uh, I'm in creative but you guys can make this nice and small if you'd like because it still looks big uh, so yeah just you guys do whatever you want to do and I will continue on with this so now you should have something that kind of looks like this and honestly this kind of looks cool on its own but that's not what we're going for so now what you want to do is you want, if you want to create a little drop down which I like to do then what you want to do is you want to take out some blocks you can make this one wide you can make this four wide actually I think I'm just gonna make it one um, and then what you want to do is you want to take out gates and you want to put one right here and you want to open that and then you can come right down here and you can put an item frame on that and you put a map in there uh, by that you guys might already realize what I'm doing we're going to be covering this whole room with just these maps uh, but anyway if you go right up here now what you can do is you can just continue this up with whatever you want I'm just gonna make it this white and you just continue this up for however high you want it. Uh, this just gives it like a nice little cool effect, you know, falling down into this totally white room uh, where you can't even tell like how much space. It's super cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to continue this up for a few blocks, not that much, because I don't want them to be hurt when they reach the room. Well, I'd want them to be a little bit hurt, but I don't want to kill them. Killing's not fun. And then maybe I'll just make a little bit of a platform too like so uh yeah I'll just be back when I have my little thing all set up and now it should kinda look like this and you fall into here uh, so now what you want to do is you want to literally just cover this whole place oops in item frames cover it all it's going to take so many resources and you're probably going to be hating life afterwards just like how you felt when you're covering the whole thing with just white but it's so cool the finish effect I love it so much it's just so expensive it's insane uh, so yeah I'll let you guys know once I have all of this uh, this whole room covered up Oh, also, uh, you might want to not put any of these in. These are super annoying once you put all the maps in. So just, if you accidentally double-click one, just take it out. Just, it will make life a lot easier uh, in the future. Anyway, I'm going to continue this because I have no commands. And I have to do all this by hand, which is hard, yeah. But I'm not going to struggle as nearly as much as people doing this in survival. Also, if the pain's starting to get to you, what you can do is you can just play some nice DJ Sloth music. It's so good. I love this song so much, and it's really helping out right now. Oh yeah, also, link in the description below for DJ Sloth. Go check him out. Music's great. Really helps uh, with, the, with all the struggle of this. Alright, so once you're done with all the item frames in the room, uh, first, you might experience just a little bit of lag to start out with. If I can find an exit here, I don't really have to leave anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, once you have all the item frames in place, I can bet you know what to do next, and that's to fill it in with maps. Luckily, this is easy because you cannot put more than one map into an item frame, like unlike placing an item frame and then placing an item frame in front in the item frame itself yeah uh, so anyway uh, yeah so I'm just gonna this should be pretty easy for me you just kind of go back and forth not that bad and DJ Sloth makes it better so yeah I'll be right back guys all right are you ready for this I think I am done and I also added just a few tricks here and there um, not really that many but there's like two and they're not really that big of a tricks uh, but let's just hop in through and whoa look at this I can't even tell if I'm looking up or down then if I just turn a little bit if I just up oh, there it is look at how trippy that looks just one door just sitting there in the middle of nowhere 
Uh, of course, you don't even need to have this door. I just thought that it was like a nice little thing to have. But, oops, yeah, by the way, it's going to lie quite a lot. It's quite a lot for the computer to handle. That's the one, uh, I was about to say the one big downside about this, but also the setup was even worse. So, uh, But it's up to you. You can either have a door or you can take the door out and just replace it with, this and if you do that then what you can do instead is you can make this little thing I think it's this way yeah right here uh, so this is just a like fence post with this is just like another little room I could have actually just put some more here and more here and I think it would have looked fine anyway but if you go right into here it's still completely white but if I just walk forward I think yeah you'll be shot right back up to the surface. So just like the nice little water elevator is what I did. Uh, and it's literally just so cool. And I'll do this just one more time. I actually don't know where it is at all. Uh, you can throw items around and that helps out a lot. So not this corner because I just hit one. Is it this way? Not this way. Let's pick these up. It's so hard to find your way around. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's not here. So, last corner. Must be right over here. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So, can we get back through? Right here. Oh. <laughs> it's so confusing. I want you guys to try it out yourself. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, this is totally, I think it was Grin who came up with this, uh, link in the description below to check out his channel. Uh, if I remember and have the patience to find it, I'll even throw in the video where he mentioned it and started work on it. So yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys really, really enjoyed it, then you guys make sure to hit that subscribe button. But that is all I have time for, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you use it. And I can't wait to see you guys in another video. Bye!